Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ben here. If you want to stay on ESA and avoid having to go on e Universal Credit, I have a very good solution for this. If you are ill enough, if you have severe disabilities or mental health problems that are bad enough to stop you from going to work, then I recommend you claim severe disability premium. This is, this is on top of your existing ESA claim. This is another proportion of the ESA claim, which means you'll get more money per month. Sorry, more money every two weeks paid into your bank account that you set up with the Job Centre Plus. And you should be getting £387 a fortnight, like me, when you're on ESA with Disability Premium. Provided you qualify for disability premium. <coughs> All I did was <coughs> write ESA people a letter using my, my social worker did it or my support worker. It was actually at the old uh, support accommodation place at the Wednesday in Alphacombe. She wrote a nice letter to the ESA people. I don't know where they were based, but they're based somewhere in the UK. She wrote a letter to him explaining that my paranoid schizophrenia, anxiety, depression and ongoing drug issues prevent me from going to work and that I myself feel too bad to go to work and I couldn't hold down a job. If I had a job now I would go mad and I wouldn't be able to keep to the schedule, I wouldn't be able to turn up on time. I end up getting sacked within a day or even kicked out the same day as I started. I'll end up mouthing off at one of the managers or something, I'll end up getting kicked out. And or hitting someone, or chucking bricks or something at a car, or anything can happen. The thoughts in my head drive me mad, and I can cause some damage because of this. And I'm not safe to be around in a work environment. And I think my history proves this. I broke a nurse's back in hospital, a guy it was. Not a woman, it was a guy I managed to flip over because my legs are quite strong now and I got my legs underneath his legs and really hard pushed him up really hard and went flying head over feet and he broke his back. It was quite stupid really. I don't know, I don't find it funny, but it it just looked very stupid the way he fell over and he broke his back and he's still off work now, about a year or two on. Hopefully, he was a dickhead anyway. Anyway, that's in the past. I'm not a bad person. Just like an accident, really. I was having a psychotic echo of how I'm at the time. I couldn't help, I couldn't control my actions. I was saying things like to one of my friends, like I was going to put her in a car boot and set fire to her and stuff. I wouldn't do that. I would never touch a woman and set fire to them, even if they did, my head was so bad that I couldn't live much longer. I wish I wouldn't kill someone because I was not getting life in jail. I might be able to claim for manslaughter because of my paranoid schizophrenia and not having capacity, which I don't have capacity to look after my own money, so I don't have capacity to make a worthwhile decision, I guess. Anyway. Now my money is looked after, I'm able to save a lot of my ESA and PIP. I'm saving about uh, 700 quid a month I'm saving. And this is maybe 8 or 900 quid a month. Quite a lot of money I'm putting away back in my bank account. I'm not spending anywhere near as much as I used to. I do anything on to illicit drugs. I only smoke roll up, so I smoke gold leaf, backy. I, and I don't even buy filter tips, I use ropes off the cardboard as a packet, so I, I get a packet of ridges with the tobacco. So uh, I have to buy like one pal packet of tobacco, two packets of 30 grams a week, and two packs of ridges a week, two ridges greens a week, two packets of 50 times ridges green. 15 a packet of ridges green and two packs of eggs, that's what I meant to say. Anyway, you write a letter to the DWP explaining you want to be on disability premium and all your ailments, list them all down, make sure you look at the, the scripts, the ciphers, the ciphers. These are the bits written down that you have to meet targets for to get points. 
I make up it's your worst day, you make up it's your worst day and you have to get through this in order to claim you disability premium. If you manage it, you'll get a back pay. I got a back pay, pay about back pay of seven and a half thousand pounds. And I managed to build that on crack unfortunately, but hopefully you won't be as stupid as me. If you get ten grand or so, that was this is over two years that I should have been getting it for and I didn't get it. So this is why I got all this back pay. If you manage to get ten grand back pay then spend it wisely, I recommend not all on drugs. Buy half of weed and chill out, buy an ounce of weed and chill out with it. Don't spend it all in seven seven days like I did on crack. I wasted a grand a day on on crack and weed really. Ridiculous, it's shameful. I shouldn't have done it basically. But I did it and I was a bad person for doing it, but now I've got over the other side of it. I'm okay with them. I don't need to smoke crack, it's not a need drug, it's a want drug. It's so more that you're always thinking about it every second of the day really for me. And I can't get away from it. Nothing takes my thoughts away from doing crack. It never will, I don't think. I think I'll be like this for the rest of my life. Thanks for joining me, mate. I know you're watching the live video now, but if you have any comments, please list them. I'll get back to you with a video response, probably. Quite most likely, anyway, a video response to you. If you want me to make a video about a chosen subject, I always do. Done two now video responses, and I enjoy doing them. It's very helpful. Anyway, if you claim severe disability premium, you'll be loving it with your back pay and your new 387 quid a fortnight pay. And then you have to miss a fortnight, obviously, that's if you get PIP. I'm talking, I get paid every fortnight, and every three weeks I miss a fortnight. And no, I miss, yeah, I miss a fortnight. I do every three weeks. I get paid four times every five weeks. That's worked that way. Or four times every four, four weeks. Three times every four weeks I get paid. And on the fourth week I don't get any money, because the fifth week I do get money again. So my pip's something like 350, and my ESA is 387 or 388. It would have gone up to 390 or now because the April boom. We always get pay rises in April, don't we? On top of using the ESA and you see in that in terms of all we all get pay rises, thank God. Um to buy more cider. I'm joking. I just like cider. I always drink cider every day. So I love to taste the cider. That's why I drink cider. I like rattle cider the best. But I can't get that cheap enough. It's right at the side, which is too expensive for me to afford. I would be to f afford two bottles of it. Maybe I can four bottles of it a day. 500 more bottles. I'll get through four of those in the evening. In the evening. Pretty easy. I could drink a lot more than that if I wanted to as well. It's going to be really hot tonight. It's not hot in this room. I hope I haven't got COVID-19. I'm telling you. I don't want to pass it to you. This the person here has got COPD. If I've got it, she could die of it. I wouldn't like that on my conscience if she died. I feel the right this the right pleb that it's on the way. Yeah. So I hope this tip of claiming disability premium is helping you or has helped you. Google it, this, this Google Disability Premium on ESA. Or write Employment and Support Allowance, full words, into Google, if you have to. Try disability, Severe Disability Premium on ESA. Try searching for that to start with. And it should bring up something that it should do. If it doesn't, then I don't know. It'll tell you how to do it, how to fill your forms in. So RC, I'm talking about CAB if you need more help. But severe disability premium is what you need to claim in order to get more money on the ESA and you'll be loving life, trust me. You'll have more money, more money to spend on your kids, more money to spend on your wife or, or husband or children, whatever you want. Whatever you want to spend the money on, it's up to you. Spend it on crack if you really want. I wouldn't know, that's what I did. I was very, very brainless for doing it, I was a dickhead and stupidity of me did it, super sorry my brain chose to do it. I would never do it again though, looking back on it, not all of it on crack, no chance. I spent most of it on crack and some of it on weed.
I really should wait to be going flat and I'll put some bit. Anyway, I'll leave this video here. It's gone on 10 minutes now. Please comment below if you have any questions you want me to answer or any videos you want me to make. I need ideas for new content quite urgently. I haven't got any ideas in my brain for any new content I could make. So if you have any ideas, please comment in this video and tell me below. I appreciate that. And if you also join my Facebook group, uh, what's it called? Drug Withdrawal. Uh, Addicts in Recovery or something like that. I can't remember, it's drug withdrawal, recovery or something. I can't remember what it is now, seriously. I did make a group on Facebook. I, I try and find out what it is and then put a comment in this video to see what it's called. But hopefully it will get out of it.